so hello everyone welcome back to programming knowledge so in today's video we will be setting up flutter in vs code so guys without wasting any time let's move on to our today's topic so our today's topic is setting up flutter in vs code so for that we will be requiring some we have to follow some steps very first we have to install flutter sdk then we will set the environment variables third we will install vs code then we also need android sdk to develop android apks fifth we will be make, creating a project to verify is our app is ready properly or not step one let's install flutter go to google and search for flutter download okay now scroll a bit and you can see there is a link flutter download flutter sdk let's click on that then it will ask to which operating system you are going to develop i will be developing in windows then android so now there is some minimum requirements so it should be minimum 8 gb ram and it is and it is recommended to have at least 16 gb ram so now go down you can also download git for windows like uh, if you need to manage your source code later so let's download most of the time the tab will be over here so just switch the tab and come over here and download the zip file so for now i am downloading in the downloads folder on my desktop and just name it a flutter save so i already downloaded it so i will just open that folder the downloads you can see i already downloaded the flutter zip file so let's delete this for now and let's extract this i will be extracting okay extract all to over here only let's extract so it will take some time to extract let's wait for it as now you can see our flutter is extracted successfully now move on to a next step so moving on to a next step means to add the flutter bin path to path variable so now let's open that extracted folder go to flutter inside that you will find a bin folder open that and then copy the path after copying the path press key windows search for environment variables then go to environment variables go to path create edit and i'm <coughs> let's add a new one and paste and click on okay okay and okay so this is how you can add your path variable to the environment variables now let's press windows r go to command prompt and type flutter slash slash version now you can see our flutter is prop a flutter variable is already set properly so now what's next let's move on to our next step in the next step we will be installing vs code go to google search for vs code then 
go to the download link let's click on that then select windows as we are setting this in windows vs windows 11 so let's uh, yeah so it's downloading let's go to the downloads folder and install the application over here say so it's installing once it's installed we will be opening this A VS code is installed let's click on this then accept the agreements click on next and next next then click on create a desktop icon if you want so let's click on next and install so it will be installing in the time it will take some time so now you can see it's installed let's open it so now you can see a VS code is open. Now what we are going to do? We are going to go on the extensions and over here let's click, let's search Dart after that click on install. Trust Publisher and install. After Dart, Search on search for flutter and install that also. Let's close the recommended and now you can see the dart is installing and also the flutter flutter is installed. So now let's just wait for dart. Once it's installed, we will move further. So now you can see a dart is installed. So with this, our VS code setup is properly done. So let's move on to our next step. In the next step, we will be installing Android SDK. Now why we need Android SDK? Android SDK help us to create the Android APKs using VS code. So now we have two options either to install the android sdk or either to install the android studio it will automatically install android studio uh, android sdk with it go to google and search android studio android sdk download now let's click on android studio and sdk tools download android studio by clicking over here accept the terms and conditions then click on Android Studio. I am similarly going to paste this in the download folder. Let's click on save. So I already downloaded it. So let's just go to that folder. So in my download folder, you can see the Android Studio is downloaded. So just set up the Android Studio by clicking on it and follow the and follow the wizard instructions so it will completely install your android studio after installing android studio press windows r go to command prompt and type here flutter doctor Once the Android Studio is installed, so over here it will show that it, it is installed successfully. So our, this step is also completed. So we already installed the Android SDK. Let's move on to a last step and find create project. So how to create project in VS Code. Let's see that. Inside the VS Code, let's go to view, open the command palette and type flutter new project so let's go to new project and click on applications so over here it will tell us to create a to select a folder i'm just selecting the downloads folder only let's click on select a folder to create project in so it's and press enter so now uh, uh wait just 
trust the authors it will load and take some times so now you can see a flutter project is successfully launched so let's click over here yes and so now you can see a flutter is installed successfully and it's also creating a project so as you now can see that a flutter project is created successfully so after like uh, let me run the application just enter control g and on the terminal write flutter run so it is telling to choose one let's just choose chrome and it's two so let's just wait so now you can see a flutter application is almost getting ready so by default the counter app is created successfully and it's also increasing so our today's topic setting up the flutter in vs code in windows 11 is successfully completed thank you